In this video, we're going to take a look at some Forge World goodness and see what's coming up for my Raven Guard 30k force. Hi guys, again. In this video, we're going to take a look at my 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 build and paint pile really for 2019. I managed to pretty much paint everything. Well, I have. I painted everything for my Death Guard 30k force, apart from the, the Demon Prince of Nurgle, which is amazing. Uh, and so, But I've soon filled the gap with plenty more models, and most of it's Forge World, actually. So we're going to have a quick look, really, at um, what I've got. If any of you are interested in particular unboxings or closer looks at various models, let me know. Shoot me a comment down below, and we can do that too. So, top of the pile. We've got the Storm Eagle Assault Gunship, uh, which I haven't got to yet. Picked this up at the end of last year. This is going to transport my Terminators, my Tartarus Terminators for my Raven Guard. Um, or it might be the Raven Guard specific Storm Eagle, the, the Dark Wing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but something will be done with it and it will be Raven Guard. So Storm Eagle, I've already done a complete kind of unbagging. Um, unboxing and build log on a Storm Eagle um, previously but if you'd like to see another one let me know and we can do that next up we've got we've got not one but two um, pots or packs of Dark Furies this is um, a particular Raven Guard choice very very nice very deadly um, they come in bags of five, but I want to do a ten-man squad, so I picked up two, um, two packs of those. So that's going to be a, quite a cool build. I probably will do an unbagging and kind of a bit of a build log of these because I don't see much of it on YouTube. So that's the Dark Furies. Then we've got just getting out my bits, bags, and stuff, things of that nature. Then we've got um, ten-man Mark IV Space Marine squad. Uh, which is going to be my second tactical squad for my Raven Guards. So I picked those up. Um, I've already put the legs on the bases, which I <laughs> I like to do of an evening. I'll clip off all the bases, put the legs on bases so they're ready to go, and uh, build them up with um, bits from my bits box and rubble and gravel and all that sort of stuff. So they're kind of ready to start building. So that's those. To go with the tactical squad, picked up a drop pod. From YouTube, from eBay. That's my second drop pod. Really enjoyed doing the first one, uh, more so than I thought. And rather than buying them brand new, I am picking them up on eBay. Pick this one up for twelve pound fifty, brand new on sprue, uh, with the instructions and the decal. So there we go. So that's that. Then we've got. Um, so I'm just getting again bits and bobs out. We've got right. What we've got here? We've got the Legion Chapter, Legion Champion, and Master of Signals. From Forge World. Um, again, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I, I want to build the Raven Guard special characters. There is um, Alvarex, Morn, and um, Nex. So Nex is a Moratat, and Alvarex Morn is a uh, kind of a captain, strike captain character. And whether I'm going to use bits from the champion potentially or the Master of Signals, Alvarex Morn has got this all singing, all dancing, Nuncio Vox that he can call in um, kind of for deep strike purposes, etc. So I'm gonna, I might use those or might just use him straight as a champion and use the Master of Signal bits for Alvarex Morn. I'm not sure yet, but that's that. Then we've got, um, we bought the uh, Raven Guard Shadow Captain Corvidae. And again, I'm really like, again, I probably won't use this as Corvidae. I'm not that keen on the model, really. I don't really like Thunder Hammer thing going on, but I love the body. And I might well use the body for um, for Nex, because he's Moratat. Moratat without a jump pack, though. He doesn't have a jump pack. But I can um, do something with this sort of running pose, potentially. So again, use him for bits. So that's him. Next up, we've got, <laughs> well, in previous videos, I've said it, everything, every Space Marine is going to have a beaky. Um, so I picked up some beaky helmets. They do a particular Raven Guard pack, Mark VI heads. The Mark VI heads look absolutely fine on the Mark IV bodies. So I've got 20 heads there. 
Then we've got um, two Contemptor assault cannons. So we've got those. And to go with that, where are we? Picked up the Raven Guard Contemptor Dreadnought, which I've not had before, clearly, because I have not done Raven Guard before. Uh, what my, my original plan for that was to have the, um, to do a Mortis Contemptor with the double carries assault cannons, but what I'm gonna do instead is um, um, pick up a chain fist claw or fist or whatever uh, and do a, a dreadnought talon of three cortis contemptors instead so um so yeah we'll see so it probably, it'll be carries and chain fist or chain or claw or whatever so that's that then i've got uh, some combi weapons we get five combi plasmas five combi melters five combi flamers and that is for these guys. Mark VI armor is, um, well, it's at the moment only available in these packs. Um, same pack, I bought two. Um, you get five bodies in here, basically. Uh, five legs, five bodies, five torsos, backpacks, shoulder pads, and bolter-ready type arms. And more importantly, for me at least anyway, the helmets you get, because it's Mark VI, you get beakies. So instead of buying packs of beakies, I can <laughs> get these and I've got Mark VI bodies too. So what I'm going to do with these is um, do a 10 man squad of Seekers. Um, they're going to have combi weapons because I've got the bolter ready arms. Uh, and because they're in Mark VI armour, uh, they, they'll be more sleek than the Mark IVs, I suppose. Um, so that'll be my Seeker, my fast attacks um, option. Well, one of them at least anyway. So I've got 10 man squad of Seekers coming. Then, what else did we get? We've got um, remnants of my assault squad. At, at the moment, I'm painting up a 15-man assault squad from Forge World, but I bought the the um, the deal, <laughs> if you want to call it a deal. Bought the deal where you get 20 assault marines and you get some Mark IV weapons, uh, effectively for free, or included, I should say. But I've, so I've got five left, but I want to do another 15-man assault squad, so I'll end up getting... Um, uh, two more packs of these basically so that's that um and i also picked up this uh, i got the primaris chaplain just because I, I really really like the model and i um i've never built a primaris uh space marine before and i'm not entirely sure how much bigger they are than normal marines and whether i can get away with this one being a chaplain console in my 30k army and whether i could do some sort of conversion with him i just really really like the model so we'll see Maybe I will, maybe I won't. If it's a bust, I'll um, paint it for fun or get rid of it. Um, and then, as you know, Nurgle, De Nurgle Demon Prince, um, which is still on the back burner from the Death Guard. So I'll paint that as a little fun project at some point too. And last-ish, but not least, picked up the um, Sakaran Arcus Strike Tank. Not had a Sakaran before. And uh, because it's uh, all the Sakaran variant tank variants are fast tanks so that's the kind of theme of my raven guard army so i've got some nice nice resin there got the uh, track sections so again i'll probably do an unboxing unbagging of the arcus just so you can see what i'm going to do with it so that's that so that was kind of the first wave of forge world <laughs> Uh, and then I went back to Forge World <laughs> and picked up a couple more bits. They are behind me. So we got... Um, did actually pick up the Chain Fist. So I'm going to do Chain Fist and Carries for my rave, for my um, Contemptor. And it'll be a Cortus. So I'll probably do... You know, I'm going to have the Dreadnought Talon, like I said. So I'll do three, three Cortus anyway. Picked up the Vigilator. The new model, the, the uh, specific model for the Vigilator. Very, very Raven Guard, the old Vigilator there with his with his rules. So again, might have a look at those two. Or again, use him for Morn, potentially. We'll see how that goes. So that's that. And I also picked up Tiberos, the Red Wake, which for those of you who don't know, is a... Um, Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know, there's enough body in there to be honest. Yeah, he's a double lightning claw um, character for. I can't even remember the army. So, but anyway, because he's double lightning claw, 
and lightning claws are a feature extremely heavily in the Death Guard, in the um, Raven Guard forces with their Raven's Talons. I thought I will use him as a Praetor or something, so I'll paint him up as Raven Guard. So that was a cool little model to get. And last but not least, which I will be doing an unbagging unboxing of, another big model kit. I picked up the um, Stormblade. Not seen too many of these on, on YouTube. Um, it's a Bane Blade variant, and you get a whack of, you get five of the Bane Blade sprues, plastic sprues, and then you get um, some resin components too to make up the Storm Blade. This is basically the tank with the plasma blast gun from the Warhound Titan um, as its primary weapon. So, yeah, there we go. Titan weapons on a tank. So, can't be, can't be too bad. Um, and like I say, it's, it's a Lord of War choice in the 30k rules, so I'm going to have some fun with that, I think. But again, like I said, not, not seen too many unboxings, unbaggings, um, or kind of videos on the Stormblade, really. So I'm going to unbox it, unbag it, have a look at it, closer look at it, do a bit of a build log, any kind of tricks and tips or trials and tribulations we have with it, and we'll go from there. So that's the big pile of Forge World. Um, yeah. Also got just those other bags that were rustling, just so you know what's going on. Got my bag of bits. These are my this is my bits from Calth and Prospero, effectively. Um, so that's that going on. And then I've got another bits bag of bits here, you know, with all Forge World bits and Raven Guard bits and Death Guard bits and heavy weapons and all the other things that I did for Death Guard, all kind of bagged up independently for easy kind of. Um, tracking and going through if I need any bits for my uh, future builds. So that's it for this one, guys. Uh, like I say, if you want any particular videos on any of these models, let me know and I shall um, I shall make it happen. But like I say, definitely going to do the Stormblade. Um, I've, like I said, I'm just about to finish. Well, I, I'm in the process of doing the 15-man Assault Squad at the moment. Um, so once they're done, and that's been a that's taken quite a long time, obviously. So a 15-man squad. Um, it'll be time for a treat unit next, I call them. Treat unit. I don't know if you have the same where you paint a, you know, a squad up, 10-man squad, 15-man squad, 20-man squad, whatever you're doing. And then you think, right, I want to paint something fun. Not that painting a 15-man squad is not fun, but it is um, It's quite, well, laborious. I don't know if that's the right word. I do enjoy it, but it is quite, it is quite time-consuming and samey. Um, so yeah, treat unit next. So we're looking at either, I think, the Sakaran, the Stormblade, the ooh, maybe the Drop Pod, although I've only recently just done one of those, um, or the Contemptor probably. So we'll probably do the Sakaran, the Stormblade, or the Contemptor. Let me know which one of those you'd like to see first, and we'll do that. Um, I mean, I, I kind of count in the Dark Furies as a treat unit too, because they're Legion specific, but because well, it's a 10 man squad, I don't want to do a 10 man jump pack squad straight after doing the 10 man assault squad or 15 man assault squad. So, yep, let me know. Stormblade, Sakaran, Ray, uh, Contemptor, and we'll go from there and we'll do that. So, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.